All right, looks like we're gonna have an oil leak on this. Let's uh, let's get her on. Ready? Go clear prop. Here. Keep going. Okay, so obviously the plane was covered in oil. We didn't want to run it too much because the leak was pretty substantial. And if you look right here, you can see, here we go. There's oil on top here. And there's also oil all under the oil cooler seal. You can see where it's wet around it. So the oil cooler seal is pretty busted and that's where it ran. We turned it over a few times without cranking it and oil kind of poured out of there and pulled. And if you look at it from the top, that gasket is got an interesting bow in it, which makes me wonder if it's the right gasket, but that is TBD on taking it off. <laughs> Cracks or scratches right there. Hmm. That's interesting. Another thing we notice is that on this side of the cowling, there's evidence where it's been spraying. So when it gets really hot and it runs, it's spraying pretty good. I'm just curious, are there actually people at airports who don't have golf carts? What do you what do you do? You just walk everywhere? That's that's crazy. Look at the chemtrails. engine's only got 903 hours on it. Okay, so this is a IO 520-R. All right, we got the oil cooler and the oil cooler plate off. And if you look, you can see that the leak was right here around this hole. And there's evidence that the oil was coming around there. You can see where all that's oil stained around that. And then it's just been dripping down on top of everything else and then showing up there because it was pooling up and then it was leaking all down here. So let's check out the oil cooler and go from there. A little cooler adapter. The thing about these little rings, if they're not completely flat, it will it will leak because the gasket won't seal. Um, I thought that there were cracks in the washer, and turns out there were quite a few cracks on the washer, which is quite odd. And then when we go and we look at the crankcase, you can see the indentations of those cracks and it looks like the oil leak may actually be coming from up there. Um, so, TBD. Okay, Mike, tell the world what you did to break that. I had it like this. <laughs> and I was like, let me look at this. And then it went like that. Been like that for a minute. Do you look at it's rusted inside the crack? Does that happen in flight? That's a through stud too. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a interesting situation. I think we can just JB weld it, put it back. Let's do it. All right, we talked to the guy at the end of the shop because none of us were really sure what to do with this. This is installed right now because you can't have a through stud with no torque on it. it seems like we're just going to pull it out and put new O rings on it sand it down and make sure the case isn't cracked and then go from there. All right, so we dive in it to make sure it wasn't cracked and it, what looked like a crack, I 
think is just still a raised area from where we need to take it down a little bit more because if you pay attention when you shine a light on it it makes a shadow and a crack won't do 